Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. I love to combine things. Uh, it's kind of the permaculture way of looking at everything that if you can combine loops, you're, you're doing well. Uh, this is my five gallon um, jug that I use for water storage for bug out stuff. But I'm actually, like, I had to split the house. I live kind of near an old nuclear power plant that's been decommissioned, but the issue is still there. I moved here before I really understood what I was getting into. I'm here for now. Uh, so, if I ever need to split, I've got five gallons of water. It's empty right now, mostly empty. Um, I'm not actually that strong that I can lift up five gallons with my thumb. Uh, but that's the point. Uh, the reason that it's empty is because uh, twice a month, on the 1st and the 15th, I empty this out and I use the water for something else. It is a cold day outside. It started snowing even though it's April, beginning of April. Um, which isn't totally unusual, but it's kind of like, you know, when is spring really going to start? Uh, anyway, it's cold, so I'm having a fire today. I took the water from here, and I've got it in this pot right here. And uh, what I'm doing with that is I'm heating that water up, and that will be my boy's bath water for tonight. Um, so, to cycle through the water to keep it fresh for the uh, bug out scenario, I use it twice a month for bath time. Uh, now, it's morning, and he takes his bath in the evening, so what I do is I heat it up here, and then I put it into a uh, sort of a thermal blanket situation, and that's upstairs. I'm going to show you that right now. All right, so this is the insulating uh, device that I use to keep the water warm, and uh, this was given to me as a gift. I didn't use it for the longest time because uh, uh, it's made to... Uh, take, uh, you know, hot pots of soup or whatever, and you put them in here and they stay warm all day. The majority of the time that I'm making soup, it's in the winter time, and the wood stove's going all day anyway, so it was sort of a non-issue. But I've since found some really great uses for it, and one of them, like I was saying, is keeping bath water hot. Uh, so this is not the pot that's full of water, but uh, that's still on the stove right now. So for demonstration purposes, this just fits right in here. Uh, and Normally, uh, you'd have a smaller pot in here, and this would zip up right around, and it's got a little lid that goes on top. You know, you'd normally have a lid on there as well. Uh, but because I have a very large pot, I've got a little blank, uh, not a blanket. What do you call these things? You call them towels. Yeah. So I've got a towel that I wrap around. This goes on top. There's a little drawstring here. Zip. Tightens it all up. And that'll keep that water more warm than it needs to be uh, all day long. And in fact, I'm having kind of an issue with the water being too hot when it's time for bath time, so I have to cut it with some, some other water. Still working on kind of how to, how to balance that so it comes out just perfect. Just perfect at, uh, at um, 6 o'clock when it's time for bath. So anyway, this will keep it warm all day. And this whole solution solves a lot of problems. One, like I said, it helps me to cycle my water. Uh, for the, the, you know, the bug out uh, gear. Two, it provides me with hot water for a, a bath for the boy whenever I need to do that. And what it also does is it allows me to <clears throat> um, pour water from my uh, water pressure system when I have sunlight to pump it. At nighttime, when I give him a bath, the sun's gone down. So uh, the water in my system, if I'm filling up a, his tub at that point, will be pumping off batteries. Doing it this way, uh, I'm able to fill up that empty container um, with water when the sun's shining on my solar panels and the batteries are already full and topped off. So it's three issues that I can solve by connecting them all. Cycle my water, only be pumping water when I have sunlight you know, in excess to do it, and uh, having nice warm water for the boy that I didn't have to, you know, burn any fossil fuels or, you know, run my electric heater to, to achieve. So that's it. Tying all those little loose ends together um, to create a, a really elegant solution that solves a bunch of issues that you didn't really even know that you had until you sit down and you think about it. So that's it. Are there other solutions that, uh, that you guys do that help you to tie up lots of uh, 
loose ends in the same way that I'm doing here. I love that whole way of looking at the world. So if you have that sort of stuff, I'd love to hear from you, uh, share it. Are there issues uh, that you see with what I'm doing here? Are there ways that I could even tighten this up more or connect it to other uh, issues that, uh, that I'm probably dealing with that you can imagine? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So please comment, post uh, below, and uh, I'll see you next time.